So in this video we are still in the chapter of square matrices but and now we, in, we introduce a very important concept of upper triangular matrices. Okay, so I'm defining here what a upper triangular what upper triangular matrices are. Okay. So let us say we have one, two, zero, three. First I'm going to give a couple of examples, okay? I'm sorry for the those very theoretical minds that don't like this, but I'm going to do this this way. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, an upper triangular uh, matrix. Okay? Because you have here the main diagonal and then you have values here. Okay? But uh, under the main diagonal you have all entries are zero. Okay? So this is a upper upper because this is on the on the top upper triangular uh, matrix. Okay, so a two by two matrix, right? Uh, in a two by two matrix, if you have entry one, a non zero, a one two, and here you have zero, and then you have a two two, right? This is a upper triangular, okay? Or if you have B one one, B one two, B one three. Okay, so if you have B one one, B one two, B one three, zero, B two two, B two three, zero, zero, B three three, here you are, you have the main diagonal here, and okay, and under all entries are zero. Okay, so this is a upper triangle uh, matrix, okay? So matrix A with entries IJ, right, is upper triangular if all entries below the main diagonal are equal to um, zero. So we say if A I J is equal to zero uh, for all i bigger than j. Okay, if you look here, i is bigger than j. Okay, because this is two zero. This is entry two zero, right? So this this is entry three zero. So i is bigger than j, right? Like here three. Uh, sorry, this is not two. This is two one. Oh, that's a stupid thing. This is two one. So two is bigger than one. So i is bigger than j. Okay. This is three one entry a three one right. So i is bigger than j. And here is uh, a entry a three two right. So i is bigger than j. Right. So for all entries where i is bigger than j, they are zero. Okay, so that is a upper triangle matrix. Okay, let us do a couple of proofs now. Uh, let us say we have matrix A, AIJ, and B, BIJ, and they are both uh, upper triangular. Okay, so the very first proof we're going to do is if A and B are upper triangular, it means that A plus B is also upper triangular. Okay? And the proof, of course, is really, really easy. Okay? So let us say um, uh, let us call a plus B, so this will be the proof, right? A plus B, let us call it um, C. Okay, and let us say that matrix C is CAJ. Okay. Okay, so if I is bigger than J, CIJ 
will be a i j plus b i j, right? But since they are upper triangular, if i is bigger than j, these entries will be zero. Okay, so c i j will be equal to zero plus zero from this one plus zero from this one. So that means zero. Okay, so c i j will be equal to zero if i is bigger than j. So, uh, and a plus b is upper triangular. Okay? So, that concludes the proof. Okay, now we are going to prove that a, we saw that a is an upper triangular matrix. If a is a upper triangular matrix, that means that k times a, where k is a scalar, is also upper triangular. Okay, so proof, we pick k a, okay, let us call k a, I'm going to call it some other letter like D, okay, so we'll have matrix D i j, right? Because uh, y d, because it's not a, you're multiplying the entries by k, okay? If i is bigger than j, so c or d, I call it d, d i is going to be k times, so it's k times a, right, k times a i j, okay, so it will be k i j, but a is a upper triangular matrix, so if i is bigger than j, a i j will be zero, so we have k times zero equal to zero, so d is upper so this means that D is upper triangular. So since D is K, K, A, K, A is upper triangular. Okay.